good day to you. My name is Chelsea and I am a breast cancer survivor. I created this channel a few years ago because I wanted to share my experiences as a younger woman going through breast cancer treatment to somehow provide some information that may be applicable to others going through and help in some way. So today I'm going to share three different things that I did to help plump up my veins prior to chemotherapy or necessary blood draws. Prior to going through chemotherapy, I didn't really have a problem or the nurses didn't really have a problem finding a vein to take blood draws. However, after I believe it was three or four rounds of chemotherapy where we did use the same vein, which has always been my best vein over here, I think you can still kind of see it. Um, this vein was beginning to not not be as available and it became really hard for the clinicians the nurses to find the vein and sometimes it would take up to like four to six different pokes and rummaging around and it became a really big thing that made me very anxious prior to chemotherapy on top of being anxious to go for another chemotherapy round so some changes needed to be made um, we ended up you know, alternating between sides for the rest of my chemotherapy because I didn't get a port. Um, but as you might or might not be able to see, this side doesn't have a vein that really pops out like the others. And we did end up moving down the arms, um, but for whatever reason, my veins decided to start hiding as it became, as I moved farther along in my chemotherapy journey. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna share three things. One thing is going to be from the day before, one thing that helped me is going to be from the morning or the day of, and then the third thing is right before going for that blood draw or finding a vein for the chemotherapy. So I truly hope that this helps you in some way if you've been having troubles like I did. The very first thing that I really needed to make a conscious effort to do the day before I had chemotherapy or I was going to get some blood taken was to drink more water, drink extra, extra water, and hydrate. Hydrate my body, hydrate the blood to try to pump up the blood volume in my veins. Um, so my goal was to enjoy three to four liters of water the day before. Now it sounds easy enough, but for whatever reason, getting down the fluid sometimes for me was not easy. Um, it just wasn't always at the top of my brain. So something that I found really helpful was to get a big container like this, a, like a one liter container for me is really helpful because then I just know I need to have three or four or in between three or four and that will be good instead of having a bunch of like little glasses and losing track. So I just got a big container that I liked drinking out of and use that. Um, one thing my husband did for me was get a different top on this container. So it ended up being um, like a straw. Before it was just a big open cup and I had a really hard time just getting the water down. But for whatever reason, changing to a straw, it helped me. So this was the first thing that really made a difference, I believe, for pumping up those veins and helping it for the blood draw. The second thing that I found was very 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 helpful is to heat my body up from the inside out yeah i would say i was going to just try to pick to see which one i thought was the most helpful but honestly i think all three of these things that i'm sharing with you today are all equally as helpful i couldn't pick one over the other so this one is very helpful as well so heating my body up from the inside out the cancer center that i went to was about two hours away so on the way to that appointment maybe about halfway through we would typically stop or i would bring something but to get a hot drink so like a hot tea a hot water with lemon um once in a while coffee although my body didn't really love coffee, um, but just something to really like heat me up from the inside and I could physically feel my body temperature rising. I have that with me here now because I'm feeling a little chilly, but just having something warm 
really was such a big difference. I could physically see the veins in my body like coming out of my skin, looking to cool down uh, my body temperature when I added in that hot drink on the way to the appointment. So that was such a key move and uh, one that I would definitely recommend. The third thing I did was to layer up. Now I did go through my chemotherapy. It was October, November, December, January. So pretty cold months where I live. No matter the temperature outside, I would totally recommend layering up. So making your body hot almost from the outside in. So um, in addition to that, I do have an extra recommendation. Wear a hoodie or a cozy sweater that has a zipper. So I would wear something like this. I could zip it up. The zipper worked. Zip it up. And then I would also put on this. So I could be extra cozy. Um, or like a winter jacket even if you wanted to. But just something that's going to hold in the heat that you are going to feel, that your body is going to feel warm. It's going to keep um, yeah, your veins nice and warm. The other thing that I wanted to say and why I wanted to show you this is that when you go to your appointment, so keep this on the whole time. Like sit in the chair, you're getting ready to go. Um, and then what I would do is take this one off. Upward. Take this one off. And then at the very last moment, take this one off and then just keep it like, keep it like this, keep the rest of my body warm and then just like scoot, scoot my arm, just scoot my arm out. So, you know, if you're wearing a hoodie that doesn't have a zip, you have to take the whole thing off and then you immediately get kind of chilly and then the veins kind of, you know, retract into your body. But if you can keep that kind of cozy body heat out, um, I found that that was helpful to just help keep those veins plump and available. So those are my three tips. Honestly, I still do them now because uh, to this day, I still, or the practitioners still have a, a challenging time finding a vein to go in when I get my blood taken for various reasons. Um, and honestly, it has taken it from like four to six attempts down to one attempt if I implement all three of those tips. So I sincerely hope that uh, one or all three of those tips help you in some way. Wherever you are in your journey, I truly wish you all the best. Thank you for being here with me. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to come along for more videos and um, take care and I'll see you next time.